hello guys kindly check this application out you can see guys you want to start the nav links great if you want to type along with me kindly install the following npm install react router done with all said and done let's begin thank you very much let's begin by creating three folders in our src folder I'll call the first one assets and call the second one components and call the third one pages okay now let's take the first one assets now in this project we have no spinach or images so we'll leave it blank move to the next one component components let's create three files first one let's call it main page page right yes next one let's create navbar the JS last one nav page dot JS okay now let's do the first one main page dot JS so with our RAFCE instead of ordinary div why don't you use react or fragment good so inside that we create a section and say hello so let's link that to the app.js to view on the screen so we go to app.js then call our main main page you let's import it great so we have hello on the screen means we're ready to go okay so the main page what do we do now over here let's create two divs one for the nav bar okay, let me just comment it and say nav bar section then the next one is going to be the nav page section so we have nav uh, page section okay so we have its div here okay so let's take the first one now in this first one what do we need let's give it a class name so we say bg blue height 20 and weight 20 so likewise the that's for the nav bar so now the next one is the nav page the nav page will be the rest so the rest what do we do let's give it also a class name so we say bg blue h height screen and width full let we can even change it for now since we are now getting it let's make it 200 you can see the difference you can see here you can see guys so that is that so next now let's create our nav bar so let's go back create our nav bar so over here we call our rafce then inside that we instead of ordinary div let's give it react the fragment so inside that we say hello now let's link this nav bar to the main page so let's call nav bar here close this so you can see so we say nav bar let's import it guys that's so you can see guys we got hello inside the nav bar section so now what we're gonna do next is to go to the nav bar and start our design so let's go to the nav bar okay so over here let's take the hello off and give it a class name so we say with full height 16 bg black text white text excel uppercase font board grid the grid let's make it a grid uh then grid calls four an overflow hidden so we know we will divide uh this space into four equal parts so what we're gonna do next is to call the the p tag to do the uh, nav links okay so that call the first one the p tag first one is what uh we have here uh p tag home with uh, uh class name border with full height full and px4 and what uh senate so likewise we're gonna do likewise for uh the rest news and the last one contact so next is the nav pages okay we need the nav page so that when we click it appears here so let's work on the nav pages so nav pages let's go there 
to nav page let's call our RAFCE so instead of ordinary div we add the fragment inside that we say hello so let's link the nav page to the main page so let's go to the main page good so in the main page we have the nav page section here so you can see as we call the nav nav page so that is that let's import it good we can see we got hello on the screen so i mean we're ready to go so now let's go to the nav page where is the nav page nav page come on cfs so go go and get nav page so our nav page says hello okay, that is that so what we're going to do next is to create all the pages so let's go to our pages folder then create all the pages so let's create the first page is going to be home so we say home dot js so instead that array fce now instead of ordinary div let's give it we are the fragment so inside that we have centered uh, text for a cell high screen and then inside that we say home page now let's create a css called senate to work with so let's copy that then go to the css then we say send it so we have our display flex justify content center and align item center so that is that now let's down with the home page let's go to the next one which is the about page okay, so same thing so refce then instead of ordinary div, let's give it the then inside that we change it to about. Let's move to the next one. Uh, news REFCE instead of ordinary div, let's give it to be the fragment. Then inside that we say about. Last one contact. Array FCE instead of ordinary div, and inside that we say contact. So that is that, guys. Now let's go back to the the page, the uh, nav page. You can the nav page then call all of them. So we go to the nav page. What do we do? We import we have to route or DOM. Okay, so over here we have routes route from what we have route or DOM. Now what we're gonna do is the browser router we're gonna uh, import it at the main page at the app.gss. Okay, so we go to the app.gss, then import we have to router browser router. So over here we say browser router so now let's call browser router over here Good. so inside that we can have our main page so that is that so now let's continue with the nav page nav page we have the route so next is to what bring the route here so we can copy the route So that is that so inside that we can have a route get self close tag so now let's call the element yeah so we say route we give it a path then element is what home so let's do for the others too good so that is that we've done for the about the contact page and the news page so now let's import all of them. Good. So I think we're ready now. So now let's check our page if we got a home page there. So let's go back. You can see, guys, we got home page here. So that is that, guys. Let's check it out if all the pages are working. So we expand it, then we say slash. Let's say slash what? 
slash news you can see we can see you go to the news page let's say slash contact good you can see we are in a contact pane and the last one is about can okay, about page so that is that's working so next thing we're going to do is to link the nav links to the nav page so that when we click it's that page over here so to do that you close the nav page then we go to the nav bar so over here we import nav link okay so we say import nav link for react uh we have right at unknown let's add the nav link to the uh p tag so over here we say nav link to okay let's close this first the nav link then to a to slash good so that is that for the first one so let's copy the the end tag to the end we cut it then we take it to the end so that is that for the first one so we're going to do likewise for all of them so let's do that okay so the first one we did slash the next one love link about the next one news and the next one to what contact so let's check it out so we say about we say we are about page you can see we are in the news page so that is that guys our links is also working so now let's do the active link now the active link so the active link let's create a class name so over here we say const active link equals what bg blue 100 then make the test what black so let's create the normal link the class name for the normal link okay so the class name for the normal link we make it empty so now we create a condition that when the it has active link it should give it a bg blue and a text what black so let's do that so we go to the nav link so nav link over here let's create a class name here so you can see let's create a class name here so the class name we say if it's active is, is what is true then call the uh, the active link otherwise give us the what the normal link so that is that we're going to add this class name to all of them so that is that you can see guys so it's all linked to okay if it's active give it the uh the active link otherwise give it the normal link so that is that guys okay so next is just the colors we can see guys let's check it out you can see guys so next is just the color so we blend this color to to this colors so we say about close let's go to the nav page good nav page let's go okay it's in the main page so in the main page we have the color here so over here we can say make it 100 let's go back then the next one is going to be or again we can make it a salad good yeah i think that is that so that is that guys you can see guys so finally let's make our app responsive so we can go to the main page uh, okay and then go to the section go to the section then give it a class name then we say at medium screen give us width to faith md let me say medium screen give us a mx auto so you can see guys so that is that guys thank you for sticking through catching the next one we say peace